Okay, some of you got a little bit stuck on this question, which was the last question on the calculator paper. So I'm going to go through and answer this for you now. Okay, it's the sphere question. It gives us the volume of the sphere, and then it tells us that we need to find the radius. So, we need the volume of the sphere formula, which I've put on the board. Okay, and then all we're going to do is substitute our values that we've, we've been given into the equation. So, 5,000 centimeter cubes equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. We want to make r the subject of the formula. Okay? So, first things first, let's get rid of the 4 thirds. Okay? So, if we take that to this side, we need to inverse it. So, it will be 3 quarters. All I've done there is flip the fraction. So, instead of the 4 being on the top, it's on the bottom now. So, three, 3 quarters of 5,000 equals pi r cubed. Okay? So, if we work down the calculators then, we've got 3,750 equals pi r cubed. We then need to get rid of the pi. So, to get, this is pi multiplied by r cubed, so we need to divide both sides by pi. So next line, 3750 divided by pi equals r cubed. If I work that out on the calculator, I came up with um, 1193.66 and then it went on. But leave the answer in the calculator ready for the next working out, okay? So I'm going to shorten it there just for the workings. Equals r cubed. We then need to find the cube root of this number here. So, if I find the cube root of this number, it should equal the radius. So, when I worked on the cube root, it was t it worked out as I'm going to carry on up here. Ten point six. Okay, I've rounded it to one decimal place, so temp, the radius equals 10.6 and it's centimetres because it's just a length. Okay, 